Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, maybe you've seen the rant that I have for Windows 10, because it's a big rant as they're pushing Copilot on Windows 10, and we now know that Copilot is creating a host of different little problems, including on multiple monitors. Well, if you were waiting for 23H2 to arrive on Windows 11, Microsoft has put a hold on 23H2 because of Copilot. Now, the problem isn't 23H2. It's the darn co-pilot that they're pushing that comes automatically for everybody on 23H2 since moment four arrived. So this is kind of interesting. Um, they are saying mostly that the problem has to do with multiple monitors. But once again, and I've seen quite a few reports, a host of little bugs here and there are reported because of Copilot. And this, I have to say, shows how dumb Microsoft can be not testing properly and deciding that, uh, oh, Copilot, here it is. The worst part of Copilot, and this is also something that I can't accept, we have an insider program. We talked about it so many times, how Microsoft jumped over the Windows Insider program and decided that everybody's going to be a guinea pig. We're going to try out a new feature. Well, Copilot is that also. They haven't done their job of at least sending it to the insider rings where insiders that are still there would have noticed the problems, told them that there's a problem. But nope, nope, nope. They had to quickly, you know, barely test it in the uh, insider rings and immediately send it out. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm got enough today of Microsoft for that. But you know what? Uh, 23H2 is on hold for a lot of people, and it is, in the majority of cases, it has to do with Copilot breaking things. And last but not least, Microsoft even issued a warning today. Do not force update to 23H2. Why? Once again, problem is not 23H2. It's because you're going to get Copilot if you do. And if you get Copilot, it's going to break things. Thank you, Microsoft, for being Microsoft. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.